Hi friends! So, over the past two years I've made a lot of videos on this channel, like a lot, like a, a lot of videos, but one of my favorite videos I think that I've like literally ever made is the Summertime Cocktails video that I made one year ago today. And on top of that, not only did I enjoy it, but it's actually one of my most viewed videos, so I figured let's make a part two because I enjoyed it so much and apparently you guys enjoyed it so much. So let's go ahead and get started with making Summertime Cocktails part two. We're gonna go ahead and like up the stakes a little bit. We are still in a kitchen to where the camera cannot see my face, so I have to hunch over again. New kitchen, same tripod. We're going to be making four different drinks just like we did last time. I wouldn't say that they're more complicated at all. In fact, they're actually much easier because I don't have a blender and I decided to just find drinks that I didn't have to blend stuff with. And so hopefully I can make these all in a very easy amount of time because last time I had to like free stuff and it was a whole mess. So I think I'm a little bit more prepared. I'm a year older. I'm a little bit wiser. That's not true. <laughs> So, a little story time for you guys. I don't know what my problem is, but for some reason, lately, like within the past two years, I've kind of just prioritized anything over sleeping. I just, if there's an opportunity to do something, I'm gonna pick that over sleeping. And I've been doing it a lot lately, and I did it again last night. So I got like an hour of sleep last night. So I'm very, very tired right now, but it's okay because I also prioritized making this video over sleeping instead. So with that being said though, I did find this drink while I was scrolling on TikTok of a Red Bull like cocktail, which I'm so excited about because the Red Bull that they used was my favorite one, not sponsored by Red Bull, unless you guys wanna sponsor me, since you guys are vegan, I will take the sponsorship since I can't get McDonald's anymore. Watermelon flavor is literally my favorite. Ah, this watermelon one is my favorite flavor. I love it so much. Anyway, so this is one of the ingredients to the drink, so I'm excited to make this TikTok watermelon blueberry drink, okay? And it's very simple to make, so let's go ahead and get started, all right? So the very first thing that you need for this is some ice. Put some ice in a cup, like so. Okay. I bought this bag with like a mixture of raspberries and blueberries because it was cheaper than buying them separately. So I'm gonna go ahead and dig out all the raspberries in here one by one. There's not very many raspberries in here. I don't know what, I think that was a blackberry. That's a strawberry. Okay, I'm gonna pour this into a bowl. That way it's easier to find. Because we love dirty dishes. I don't even know why I'm sorting them out because I'm pretty sure the next step is to add blueberries to it. So I could just pour them all in here. Okay, well that's like all the raspberries that were in the bag. So we don't look like we're gonna be making a second batch of this drink. And what do you know, the very next step is to add blueberries. This is our so far, looks really good, okay. Now the next step is to add a shot of watermelon vodka. I've learned from these videos not to buy the entire bottles of things because then my entire apartment is just filled with bottles and then I'm forced to drink them after the cameras are off and that's not very healthy. So what we're gonna do is go in with this mini bottle that I bought, that way I don't have any leftovers. And we're just gonna pour the entire thing in there because that's basically a shot, right? And then they added a little bit of regular vodka, which like there's already a lot in here that's gonna be a strong drink. I feel like my cup is really small. It's gonna be just a little bit. It's literally gonna be half and half. <laughs> I should have got a bigger cup. They garnished it with a toothpick of blueberries. Okay, that's super cute. We got like a little shish kebab of blueberries. And then I'll pour the... <sighs> I don't think I... um. I don't think I tied in, or maybe I did. I don't, I'm gonna re-say it in case I didn't, that I'm so tired and that's why I'm making this drink first because I really just wanted to drink this Red Bull. I don't know if I said that because I'm so tired, but yeah, the reason why I'm making this drink first is because I wanted this Red Bull, all right? Oh my God, that color action was so nice and I hope you could see that on camera. Look at how good it looks. This is a summertime drink if I ever seen one. Okay, let's do a little taste test even though all the alcohol is kind of just sitting at the bottom. <laughs> oh my God, it's so bad no it's not it's just not good oh my god i need a bigger cup we're gonna put this in a bigger cup okay presentation ruined it was just like literally half and half oh my god that was so strong oh my god that's so good yes absolutely 10 out of 10 yeah you can't taste alcohol now oh my god This will get you up for sure. So we're gonna put that off to the side and I'll be sipping on that throughout the production of this. This next drink I am really excited to make because I kind of made up this idea on my own. I was looking on YouTube and TikTok for like drink ideas and I just like wasn't like finding a lot of like good summery looking ones because I know in my last one I made a watermelon bowl and that was probably my favorite drink that I made. So I figured I should make another drink on this video of a fruit bowl of some sort and I was thinking, well, what fruit would work other than Oh. A pineapple. Who lives in a pineapple under the mother? See? 
SpongeBob, bitch. We're gonna go ahead and um, take the top off, scoop out the inside, scoop out the inside, and then um, we're gonna make this into a nice little cup. And then I will tell you what drink we are going to put in it after I do that. I was gonna do it off camera, but never mind. You guys get to watch me. I'll speed it up. All right, let's go ahead and should I get a chair? I think I should sit down because you guys can't see me. Okay, cool. Cooking while sitting down. Doesn't get much lazier than that. I'll just like, I'll sit on my knee. Okay, so I just went straight into the sink. Well, we'll be back soon, folks. I wouldn't recommend this. This is a zero out of 10 experience. Like I'm not having any fun. And the fact that I can't listen to music right now is just like so boring. Boy, am I beat. All right, well, subscribe for weekly videos. <laughs> Dude, I'm like so tired. I'm not like, I need to, uh, I need to chug this drink. I, my legs are sticky because I spilled pineapple juice all over me. <laughs> so that's where we're at. Okay, now, now that we've got our pineapple cup all hollowed out, we are going to put a liquid inside of it. So we're going to be making, um, I forgot. What we're gonna be making is a nice, Hennessy pineapple lemonade and I've never tried Hennessy before and I'm very 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 excited because as some of you may know I am a bit of an alcoholic. No, I'm just kidding. Not an alcoholic. I'm a bit. I'm an alcohol enthusiast I loved trying new spritzers and like wine tasting, you know I just like I like tasting new things that are gonna get me up in different ways. <laughs> you say alcoholic, tomato, tomato. I'm excited because I have never tried Hennessy before and that's what this drink is going to be. And I know you're not supposed to mix light and dark, but let me just let you know that I don't give a f about that rule. And I'm actually gonna take a shot of it because I've never tried it before and we're just gonna have like a nice got a Hennessy in my hand. What drink weird is that? Oh, it's one dance. I think it's only appropriate that I take my first shot of whiskey to this song because that's a total summer vibe. My first time trying Hennessy. I'm very scared. I'm not even gonna smell it because I'm probably gonna throw up. So cheers to you guys out there. Happy summer 2021. Much better than last year, am I right? Ah. Yep, yep. <laughs> My review on Hennessy, um, I think this is what, this is like a, a Cognac, oh yeah, the co I don't know how to pronounce that, a Cognac. Um, so I, I think, I don't remember what other is like, what is Jameson? Cause I've had shots of that before and I feel like that's what it tastes like. Whatever, I'm, um, it was okay. Not my favorite, not the worst that I've had either. And I'm officially awake. Okay, so let's go ahead and make this um, Hennessy lemonade pineapple thing. Okay, so first step, you need to use Simply Lemonade because that is the only lemonade that we are using in this beach. We don't use any other lemonade. Simply Lemonade sponsored this video. Thank you to Simply Lemonade. Um, I'm not gonna measure because that's boring. Our next step is to add pineapple juice and TBH. I used this can opener earlier and I struggled so hard because it's like fancy. It's not fancy at all, I'm just a dumb bitch. This is like a proper can opener and I don't know how to use it. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. I don't know how to do it, right? Like, I'm just stupid, y'all. How to use a can opener for dummies. Like, it's not, is it supposed to be like, how do you put it, how do you clamp it on there? Is like my thing. Yeah, that's enough, right? No, it's definitely not. I mean, there's already pineapple juice in here because it's a pineapple. Why would I need to add more to it? <laughs> it's coming out so slow. Wait a second. Does this look familiar to you? Mwah. Little life imitating art moment. Come on, life imitating art. The next thing that you're going to add into the pineapple cup is some Sprite. Okay, there, it's like overflowing. There's not enough room for everything. I think this is, I don't think it's gonna. Oh, hey. And now we're just gonna give it a little stir. I didn't buy any straws. <laughs> How am I gonna drink this? Where's my diet Dr. Kelp? Where's my drink? What drink? My drink? My diet, Dr. Kelp? Don't tell me you forgot my drink! But you didn't order any- How am I supposed to eat this pizza without my drink?! The final step I saw online was to put like these like wooden dowers or skewers. Are they called dowers or ske skewers? I feel like neither word sounds correct at this point. They both sound like made up words that I just made up. I think this is too long though. <gasps> Look at how cute guys like it has like a lid on it now. It's like tipped over. Okay, let's do a little taste test 
spilled everywhere. The taste is fantastic. I don't think it has enough Hennessy because I couldn't taste anything. I'm gonna go down to my car at the, oh, this actually wasn't a good idea because it's just tipping it over. We good? Y'all chilling? I'm gonna go down to my car after I've made the rest of the drinks to get a straw. Okay. Next drink that we're going to make, we're going to be making a nice, just very simple strawberry vodka lemonade. The persons that video that I'm watching, Miss Heather Christ, Heather Christo, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, what she did is she like sliced her strawberries and then she puts them on a skillet and then cooks them with sugar, which like I think like amplifies the flavor of them and just makes them like more sweet or whatever. So we're gonna do that and it looks really good when it's done so <laughs> we're all about presentation here on phoenix productions as you can tell by my matching outfit i did not wash these strawberries in case anyone was wondering and the reasoning behind that is that i do not give a f bitch i'm vaccinated i don't give a f no i'm just kidding i just like normally don't wash my fruits and vegetables because i like to live life on the edge and like that gives me like the like the adrenaline, like I'm kind of like an adrenaline junkie, some would say. We're gonna put a cup of water in here. I'm not gonna measure that because I just do not care. I don't know how much sugar she said to add. I just don't really care at this point. So I'm just gonna go in here with, um, I'm gonna record on my phone because you guys are pretty far. Like they're all just like coated. So I don't know how much that is, but however much that is, they're coated. Okay. And now we're gonna juice this lemon. I do not have my lemon squeezer with me. So what we're gonna do is this old method that I learned in my day where you, you take the lemon and then you, you just, you like fold it inward and then it like squeezes the juice out. I think the strawberries are almost done, which is cool. Cause I'm on this last lemon wedge over here. I think this actually would have been easier <laughs> with a squeezer, but we don't have one, so it's not even an option. Can't even think about what could have been. What might have been is an abstraction, remaining a perpetual possibility only in a world of speculation. What might have been and what has been points to one end, which is always present. So it's all good. The next step now is to blend up these strawberries and let them chill. Unfortunately, I do not have a blender so we're gonna go ahead and like crush them i'm gonna put this in the fridge so it'll get cool no i'm not i'm gonna leave it out for a second i don't think you're supposed to put hot things in the fridge i'm not oh math whiz but i don't think you're supposed to do that we will come back to that lemonade while we make our last drink and that will actually be our last drink so this will be our not last drink our last yeah our new not last drink is going to be for our very last drink of course this would not be a cocktails video if i was not following a recipe for my favorite shaitan b so i went onto her channel and i saw that she recently uploaded a video about a cotton candy martini that just like looked amazing so i'm going to be attempting to recreate that thank you shaitan once again for being the sole uh creative inspiration on this channel thank you for that the very first thing that we're going to do is get our blue sugar pour it all directly onto a plate You guys like you guys know that I'm like a dumb bitch, right? Like this isn't this isn't news to you, right? Okay, cool. So now that we established that Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, it's been about five days since um, I was last filming this video, and um, as you can tell, uh, like this lemon is completely. These lemon and strawberries are completely dried out. I was filming this video on Friday night, right? Because I was going to post it the following day on Saturday. Um, and then my SD card got full. And so I was offloading the videos from it, which was taking quite a while. And then during that time, my friend had invited me out and I needed to leave like immediately. So I left and I was like, I'll just film when I come back after the SD card's done. And then things just kept happening. One thing led to another. Um, which brings me to my next issue. I drank one of the major alcohols that I needed for this next recipe. Um, I was in the middle five days ago. It's been a while. Um, let's just hop back into things. I was making this cotton candy drink, which I bought this entire bottle for. Specifically bought this bottle to make this drink. And what did I do? I took shots and finished the entire thing. Over the course of the last five days, this bottle is now completely empty. So. We're going to reassess and continue making this drink that I was trying to make five days ago. I'm going to put a lime around the edge of it and then we're gonna go ahead and go in with this blue sugar around the rim. So while the camera was 
I was prepping my ingredients five days ago and I had taken the lid off of the cotton candy um, to which I guess air somehow makes it harden completely so this is the cotton candy that we have. It was completely fluffy and it is now nothing. So we're gonna go in, go ahead and plop the cotton candy piece into the drink like so. It actually looks very pretty so far. I'm very pleased with my work. That is the drink, end of video. <laughs> I not only drank all of this, but I drank all of the lemonade that I have. So we're just gonna put our own twist under this drink, cause damn it. Instead of this, we're gonna use this pink Whitney that I have left over. It's a really big shot. Um, we're gonna go ahead and add this. And then we're supposed to use strawberry vodka. We're just gonna use this watermelon one cause I bought two of these for no reason. Like, I guess just for this reason, particularly, which I guess is just the entire thing. That's a lot of alcohol. And I don't have any lemonade, so what the f am I about to mix this with? Okay, so this is just completely only shots in here. Um, so I have this lemon, so I think I'm gonna juice this. Honestly, I'm an idiot. Like, it's not okay. I can't believe I drank all the lemonade, like, and I could go to the store and buy more ingredients, but I'm just trying to finish this video. Like, I'm not about to go buy some more groceries for this video. Like, it's over with. I found this Sierra Mist, so we're gonna, I don't wanna add it because it's lemon lime and this is not supposed to be like a, a lime drink, but you know what? It's better. <laughs> It's definitely better than how it is right now. And there you go, voila. It actually looks very pretty. Look, ain't it pretty? It has like little shimmers in it. It's 10.38 in the morning, okay? Um, so for the sake of my channel, because I'm a down ass bitch, I will try this drink. Although I just brushed my teeth, like I haven't even eaten breakfast yet. So I'm gonna be drinking on NB stomach. So this one drink is gonna f me up for the day. It's, pr it's good. It's good. It's, it's literally like a, that's actually really good. Wow, okay, okay, okay. So I was supposed to use um, the blue raspberry Svetka, um, I did not. So I substituted that with the pink Whitney Amsterdam. I was supposed to add lemonade, didn't have that. So I added lemon juice and I used some Sprite or Sierra Mist. I was supposed to use a strawberry vodka, but I used a watermelon one instead. So I literally replaced every ingredient in here except for the cotton candy. And also my cotton candy was dried out and look, Still tasted good, so I think that is a win. We're gonna take that W for today and add that to our collection. And now we have one final drink, which is also gonna be a huge mess because I don't have any lemonade for it. I like mixed these with sugar, um, and then I was supposed to put them in the fridge and leave them there for like just an hour, and it's been five days, so they're definitely chilled now. They're definitely not hot anymore, if you were wondering. So I'm gonna take the strawberries now, and I'm gonna I'm gonna crush them up. Okay, it's not it's not going as how I planned. Okay, I'm gonna use this cup. Maybe that'll work better. Oh yeah. Nice and crushed. This is what it looks like. I do not think you can see that. Okay, so I don't know what to do. Like, I just don't know what to do. Like, I don't know personally, like, what to do because I don't, <laughs> I don't have any more lemons. I'm supposed to add this to lemonade and, okay, we're gonna use we're gonna change up the recipe once again. We're going to make this uh, my complete, this isn't, this is not what it was supposed to be anymore. We're gonna make a completely different drink right now. Completely different. Whatever you thought this was, get that out of your head because it's gonna be different. And what we're gonna do, if we're following my recipe is, uh, we're gonna add a shot of tequila apparently. And then we're going to, uh, we're gonna add this ready to mix margarita mix to the mix because it kind of looks like lemonade, you know? And then we're going to go in with um, our strawberry mixture. Ew, it looks like, this looks like a Halloween drink because it looks like brains. Like I have to show you guys how disgusting this looks. Well, it's definitely a drink for sure. Um, we're gonna go ahead and garnish the side with a nice lemon. Let me stuff this in here to make it look cute. Can you even see it? We're gonna do a taste test. Yeah, it tastes like a margarita. I guess it's like a strawberry margarita kind of, strawberry lemon lime. How does that look? What is the presentation? What would you rate this? How much would they charge you for this in Miami? I feel like this is a $40 drink right there. There are the four horsemen of the apocalypse right there. Okay, so we have this nice Red Bull drink with the, the berries and shit, which was good. We have this like lemon, lime, strawberry margarita. We have this cotton candy concoction and we have our Hennessy pineapple one. And honestly, I'm, I, none of these are bad. These are all really good drinks. I like the way that all of them tasted. None of them were like disgusting, which I've done before. Um, I think probably my favorite one 
is this Hennessy one because I literally finished the entire bottle of Hennessy the next day with that drink, so that was really good. Ranking these in order, I think this is number one. Um, this is number two because I love that Red Bull. And then it's a tie between these two. In the end, it actually all ended up working out somehow. Wow, okay. I guess procrastination is my strength. I'm gonna put the link to all of these drinks in the description down below, although keep in mind that I changed the recipe drastically on the last two, so you might just like not wanna follow. Actually, no, I, yeah, follow those, cause don't follow me. Cause, well, they turned out good though. So if you wanna follow mine, you can, but I wouldn't recommend it. Do it the right way, don't be like me, kid. Hope everyone had a good holiday. If you guys make any of these drinks, tag me and let me know how they come out. And um, yeah, I think that's it, okay. If you guys enjoyed this video for any reason, make sure to give it a big thumbs up down below. Also make sure to hit that subscribe button because I make new videos every Saturday, which means that you get a new video every Saturday. Also make sure to turn on that post notification bell, that way you get a notification when that video goes up on Saturday. Sometimes they go up a little late, okay? I've been posting like four days late for the past few months and I'm sorry about that. I'm gonna, I was gonna say I'll try harder, but I, I, I don't know, I might, I don't know. We'll see, okay? And then make sure to share this video to anyone who likes summertime cocktails and then we'll see you guys next week, bye. <laughs>